Hello and welcome to a brand new video of Global Techniques of Architecture. Into this video, we are uh, diving directly into a subject called Nickel Sulphide Impurity or the Ghost Effect. So before that, we had uh, skipped two points from the previous videos, which was number one, distortion into HS glass, number two, distortion in FT glass. Distortion in HS glass as compared to FT glass are minimal. Hence, HS glass is preferred and referred for all the facade areas. Whereas, FT glass has more distortions. Hence, it is only for the spider glazing or the railing part. So, coming back to the nickel sulphide part. Nickel is also one of the ingredient or an impurity which acts as an impurity while the glass is being manufactured. Now, Silica is also a part of the glass, the major element. So what happens is, during this process called toughening, there is a formation of a metal particle called NIS. NIS. And believe me friends, that's the ghost for you. That's the ghost effect. That's the main culprit for the ghost effect. So what is a ghost effect? If at all you have balcony railings, 12mm toughened glass, which is popular all across India, all across tier 2 even in metros metro cities so these toughened glasses in particular have this problem of sudden breakage which is also called a spontaneous breakage due to nickel sulfide suicidal tendency or with a layman's term a ghost effect wherein you don't see anybody within the vicinity of the glass and suddenly the glass tap, uh, shatters so what happens is, during the processing of this FT glass, this NIS, which is NIS, nickel sulphide, goes from its stable state of alpha, goes from alpha to beta, which is unstable state, goes from alpha to beta, which is an unstable state, but then to remains inside the glass remains inside the glass. So, once you know that there is a glass breakage, you can only, the only way to figure out how it is, is through forensic. And that forensic can be only studied when you have a laminated glass. So, the next video would be, what is a laminated and a DGO glass. So, now your glass already has your nickel sulphide impurity. Only FT glass, not HS glass. Okay. So, after this glass has been processed and put onto your facade within 3 to 5 weather cycles, when exposed to heat, when exposed to solar, this nickel sulphide, which had moved from alpha to beta, stable to unstable, okay, this tries to go back to the stable position. So alpha to beta and again from beta to alpha. So when I say beta to alpha, what it tries to do is, it just tries to expand itself. So one, once it decides to expand itself, what happens is, due to its expansion, the glass doesn't stop its expansion. So when it expands, it shatters the glass and if at all it is a single glass it actually feels like a ghost effect you can google up many videos i can also share you some videos of this uh, how uh, ghost effect uh, occurs and if at all there is a laminated glass then there is a beautiful if you are interested in facades of course the interest is very much required if at all the interest is there, you see two beautiful butterflies at the center of the glass breakage. At the epicenter, you see two polygons lying next to each other and at the center of it, those two polygons, is your nickel sulphide. So I am trying to show you some snaps that I have carried out the forensic and brought it for you. There were two or three projects that we did forensic for. And believe me, it was so much fun because the glasses were all laminated. 
so if you if you look at the case one this uh, we, uh, this picture shows you uh, the butterfly effect so this is by default because of the nickel sulfide and when you look at this uh, picture which is case two this is of course a breakage but the breakage the epicenter is not with two polygons so hence it is a stress which was developed due to uneven torque and you can see the epicenter starting from a single point near the drilled hole so this is forensic this is the expertise that a facade consultant that a designer from facades has wherein he looks at the glass and says whether this glass has shattered because of number one impact number two uneven stress distribution number three metal to glass direct contact number four the most vulnerable nis the ghost effect so did you like this today's content of the video if yes please do subscribe to the channel and don't uh, forget to mention how did you like the video in the comments below once again Thanks for watching.